Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kehila or K, crochet designer, knitter, author. Links to my book are down below if you wanna check it out. And today's video, I am so excited for, oh my gosh, because it's gonna be the first time I am working with hand dyed yarn and also the first time I'm working with fingering weight yarn. So lots of firsts. First time I'm working with a hook that's like smaller than three craziness. So we'll get to all of that first of all. Speaking of hook, I need to get my hook so I can show you guys the hook that I'll be using. Yeah, okay, hold on. All right, I'm back. So I am actually hosting a crochet along for October. It's not October yet. <laughs> it is September 27th and I wanted to start this early because I'm done with all of my other projects and why not start it? I know some people have already started their sweater and stuff and I'm so excited to see the progress in October, but I'm just like, you know what? I might as well get a head start. Anyway, so like I said, it's gonna be the first time I'm using hand dyed yarn. So let me show you what I'll be working with. Boom, hand dyed yarn. This is the first ever hand dyed yarn that I bought and it's so crazy that it's the first hand dyed yarn that I bought and I have like so much hand dyed yarn now. And it's the first hand dyed yarn that I'm using to create something out of hand dyed yarn for the first time. Craziness, so great. So this yarn is by Red Door Fiber Studio and it's owned by Kate. She's so great, so amazing. And this is actually called the Akatar Trial Yarn. So she came out with a whole Akatar collection based on the Akatar series, the book series. And I won't be getting that yarn until probably like, I'm guessing January, February, I'm in no rush. I have so much yarn, it's okay. But before in like, was it August or the beginning of September? I'm not sure, it was like weeks ago. She was testing out like the colors and stuff for her Akatar yarn and these were the trials. She had these and a blue one that I gave to Malika. She made her Neptune sweater out of it, Mr. Bobbin. She made her Neptune sweater out of that yarn. And then there was another colorway that I didn't get, but I got most of the Hackathon trial yarn. So she just like put it up for sale and was like, here you go. And I was like, thank you, I snatched it up. So I have three in this color and five in this color. And it's so cool that I get to work with like the Hackathon colorways before like I even get my official actual Akatar yarn. Mm, so great. So I am going to be making the rusty high neck, which is the sweater that we're all making for the October crochet along. So excited. Ah, so yeah, I will be making, since I have three of these, I will make this color the sleeves and I'll make this color the body. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm gonna be hanking, hanking, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be caking up these hanks today. I'm also pairing it with mohair. So this is the mohair, it's knitting for olive in a color lead. And all of these together, I wanted to go with more like a gray mohair just because most or a lot of the color in here is gray. So I'm like, you know what, let me do some gray. So like any other color doesn't really take over the project because I still want like the purple and the red to show and stuff, but I still want mohair, <laughs> you know? So yeah, ah! so excited. So freaking excited. Let's get it. Oh, well, let me show you the hook I'll be using. I'll be using this 2.5 millimeter hook. So insane, look at how small that is. Are you kidding me? Whew, okay, I don't know, I've never used fingering weight yarn and Kalila, she used a 2.5 or something like that for her rusty high neck, which is her pattern we're following, so that's what I'm doing. But if I feel like it's too small, then I'll just get like my 3.5 or something, I don't know. We shall see, but it should work. Anyway, so, this is everything. Now it is time for me to start caking up these hanks. All right guys, I'm back and these are my cakes. Oh my gosh. So this is obviously the red one. This is obviously the purple. So I hank hanked, oh my gosh, please. I caked up some purple so that I can just get straight into the body when I wanna start the body, but we're gonna start on the sleeves with this. So I have one more. I'm not gonna cake it up just yet in case I don't need it because I'm not sure how much yarn I will need for the sleeves. So 
Let's get started with this one. Easy. Right, guys i am done with the ribbing look at that ah! i love how the gray like let me show you guys so this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like with the mohair i love how the gray gives it like this like smoky look like oh so perfect for fall so done with my ribbing did my first row of half double crochet this is the sleeve and yeah, I decided to use my four millimeter hook because that too was too small. I don't know what. Too, too small. Please. Yeah. I don't know how Clayla did it, but four millimeter. And this is the new furls hook, like the newest furls hook. Oh, beautiful. Are you kidding me? So yeah, now it's time to do more of the sleeve. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so excited. Oh, to see this work. All right, let's get it. Hi guys, it's the next day and as I was crocheting, let me, well first, let's just show you how much I have done so far. So this is the ribbing and I'm doing my increases right now for the sleeve. I'm almost done. I have, I'm on row 17 out of like 25 or something like that. So yee, there it is, but I, don't remember if I like gave you guys the information on the yarn that I'm using besides like where it's from. So let me do that. All right, so we'll just use one of them cause you know, they're all the same. Anyway, so this Hank, well all of these Hanks from Red Door Fiber Studio, like I told you guys, Actar Trial Yarn. It is classic fingering, so fingering weight yarn. It is 100% superwash merino and the yardage is 436 yards and it is 100 grams. So yeah, I literally, my cat is scratching at the door. Okay. I literally forgot like that little thing and I was like, I, it was just nagging at me. I'm like, I have to, I have to tell them. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Back to more crocheting.
right, guys. This is so exciting. Here we are. It's so weird looking at this sleeve because if you guys like have seen my videos and my sweaters and stuff, you know I like my sleeves like huge, okay? And I'm used to my sleeves being wider than this, a little longer than this. But then again, this is fingering weight yarn and I've never worked with fingering weight yarn before. So it's very interesting, so cool. But I'm noticing that because I'm using fingering weight yarn, like, okay, when I use worsted weight, like the mohair, it like makes the sweater fuzzy, but not like fuzzy fuzzy. But with fingering weight yarn, like that fuzzy is a fuzzy, okay? And I kind of like that. It's like a true halo. And I just, I love my sweaters being fuzzy. Like that's why I love mohair so much. I want all my sweaters fuzzy, unless it can't be fuzzy. Like, yeah. Anyway, so here it is. One down, one to go. But I'm gonna take a little break today. Look at that. Look at that pretty sleeve. Look at that ribbing. Ah, I cannot wait to start on a body. I'm so excited to work with this purple and gray. Oh, I love variegated yarn so much. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't even have to do work to mix colors. Ah. All right, so I'm going to put this away. I'm gonna take a little break and then I'll get started on the next sleeve, probably later today. I wanna do some reading. Look at my tablet, guys. I got this case for my tablet, so, so you guys can see that's my tablet. That's an ad, it always has an ad. But yeah, look at this cute. Ah, so many books, so little time. It's literally how I feel. Oh, all right, let's take a break and then I will be back. Hello guys, so I am done with my sleeves, hallelujah. I mean, not hallelujah, it wasn't bad. It's just, uh, I <laughs> can't even speak. I have another color that I'm gonna be using for the bodies, the bodies, the body panels. So I'm just very excited to work on it. But here are my sleeves. <laughs> It'll look better once it's not all like all folded -y, blah, blah, blah. But look at it. Oh my gosh. So cool. Love it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Getting closer to being finished. Kind of. So now that I'm done with my sleeves, I can move on to using this hand dyed yarn, this purple, blue, and gray with my gray mohair from Knitting for Olive. And. That's literally it. So time to start the panels and I will get back with you guys when I have like a little bit of the ribbing done. Yeah. Hey guys, my hair is different. I missed color. So I decided to just have like one half of my hair color. I mean, you know, black is color, but you know, whatever. Black and I decided to have something that's not just black. So here we go. Hopefully you guys can hear me cause like sometimes the wind blows and I don't even know and like Anyway, it's plain. Hello? Anyway, let me talk over it. It's finally time for me to start the panel. I have not started it yet because I've been knitting and writing and everything, but now it's time to crochet, okay? It is, it's October 9th, 8th or 9th right now. Eh. October 9th, okay? And lots going on. It's time to knit. What? Oh my gosh, I'm filming knitting a knitting vlog and a crochet no okay i'm filming my knit video for that sweater and this crochet video at the same time so sometimes i get mixed up on what i'm doing it's time to crochet yes but first we're gonna put on some 
hand cream from Sorella. It's the house blend. I got two more guys, okay? Because this, this hand cream is amazing. The wind is blowing, I'm sorry. Okay, now it's time to crochet. All right guys, so I am currently working on a back panel of, hello, one of the cats wants to go outside. Huh. I'm working on a back panel of this sweater and I'm gonna go to the library with Kalila and we're going to crochet at the library. It's gonna be great. I haven't been to the library in so long, probably since like 2019, honestly. And yeah, I miss it. I miss the atmosphere. My sisters went the other day and I was just like, I have to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some crochet footage and then I'm gonna also go back so I can knit in the library. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the library. I am finally done 
with the back panel. This is what it looks like. This panel is so wide. Oh my gosh. Hello. I didn't expect it to be so wide, but here it is. Now it is time to do, well, it's going to have some nice drape though. Mm. Now it's time to do the front panel. Oh gosh. The front panel. The back panel is just so easy. The front panel is easy too. It's just like doing the decreases for the neckline and just like shaping it, figuring it out. <sighs> I mean, good thing I'm following a pattern, but yeah. Hopefully the front panel goes quicker because I don't have to do like entire rows when I get to a certain point. I don't know. I just hate doing ribbing. So every time I like start a new panel or something, I'm just like, oh, here we go. But here we go. Done with the front panel. Oh, I decided for my like collar part, I'm going to do it with the red yarn that I have because I still have some left over like in a cake. So I'm going to use that to do my collar. So I just wanted to show you how much yarn I have left. This is how much yarn, I, <laughs> I can't speak. This is how much yarn I have left. And I need to cake up another hank because I am running out. So come with me as I cake up this right here. And then I'm gonna watch you season three with my sisters. Oh my gosh, guys, oh, it feels like I've been working on this forever. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I'm finally done with all of my panels and my sleeves and everything. So, sleeves, done. Back panel, front panel. Now it's time to put everything together. So let's do it, oh my gosh, let's do it.
All right, guys. So, <laughs> I am finally, finally done with this sweater. Oh my gosh. Look at the collar. Okay, first of all, the collar, neckline, whatever. We shall see if this fits over my head because this neckline was so wide, so I like cinched it. I don't know if I sent it too much, but we shall see. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to try it on and I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is a sweater. Looks like this. Here we go. Here's the bag. Here it is. Here I am. Hello. Oh my gosh. This sweater is so freaking cool. I love the high neck so much i should just always make high necks because this is it i love this so much this is oh oh i can't wait to take pictures i love the different color sleeves like this is my style like i love stuff that looks like it shouldn't look good but it looks good to me like this looks weird but it looks good to me <laughs> and that's my style and i love it so much so yeah that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching oh also how do i feel about working with fingering weight yarn a four millimeter hook and hand dyed yarn amazing i love hand dyed yarn i'm so glad i have so much of it so much more coming i am obsessed i'll forever be obsessed with hand dyed yarn and i love working with fingering weight yarn oh my gosh i thought it would be like a challenge and actually take me like longer than working with worsted weight yarn but it doesn't take me longer which is surprising so yeah <laughs> i really love this so much but like i said thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know down below what you think and let me know down below if you participated in a cow and if you're still working on it and all the good stuff just let me know whatever and i'll see you guys in my next video